Hello, hello. This is Ashen Ninja, and this is Astrogoth. Well, not here. This is an ambush that uh, Laska Backbreaker has managed to uh, to hit on. So I've decided I want to fight this one manually, even though Drazoth is going to come in as well. But Drazoth could cause a lot of damage. So let's get this into it. Let's see how it goes. Mm. This is uh, that end turn I accidentally clicked at the end of the last episode. That's what's happening now. So the dwarves did move a second army in range here as well. Um, but obviously uh, that's not in range of the uh, ambush because you only ambush the one army. So that one will probably back off after the destruction of this army, which hopefully is going to be a absolute bloodbath. Except of course, why would you why would you ambush an army here where you can't actually shoot at half of their stuff? That what the actual fuck like it's that's just ridiculous like what the hell why would you do this to yourself i don't understand you, you wouldn't do this you'd, you'd make it so that you could actually hit stuff that, that's what you do oh. all right i guess Now, you three in the middle here, and you here, you're going to be a bit of a, a stop for this side, we'll put our artillery in, see it doesn't need line of sight, pop him to go flying in there, so we'll need them to go and hit this artillery here. All right, I think that's probably about as good as we're going to be able to make this in the end. Because of what a garbage map they have made this be. And drop that down in the middle here. Uh, and you can drop that down here as well that is going to cause a lot of devastation, I think. One of those thunderers, please. That's pretty good. force that much except for this lot who we're gonna bring in at iron breakers and such there. drop another one of these down okay, they can't move and he should get out of it he's absolutely surrounded Coming to flank us, it seems. We'll pull them back. We'll get you guys into a nice shooting spot over here. Pull them right back this way. Our 
never actually seen these cars on the battlefield before. Yeah, they're pretty cool. See, he's fighting their lord over here. So that's. Oh, yeah, they got pounded. They got abs absolutely destroyed. <laughs> Just keep firing on them. If you can. He's trying to chase their lord down. That's actually good for once. I think he killed him, but that's alright. Still, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, so there was a unit of slayers there as well. Yeah, the blunderbuss has just opened up on that one unit that had made it near them. So that's it for that particular Karaza Karak army. Unfortunately, that caster has now got not a lot of health. So that is a bummer. That's a Lodzka backbreaker for you. 160 kills. Oh, see, he was probably in a fight with Slayers. No wonder he you know, took some damage. Uh, but this will get a fair bit of his health back, so we'll do it. There you go. You're not going to try that now, are you? Now you're going to hinder my replenishment. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks, actually. Oh, well. That one decided to flee. Mm, he must be going off to Cradtaman. Clan Angrand. The clan that's still more powerful than mine. Oh, come on. Really? Bastard. Oh, that army's actually quite close to there. That's not good. Not a lot of replenishment, but he's not really taking a lot of attrition either. Not a lot of surprise. Yeah, they don't want to take on those two armies, so they've decided to split up and, I don't know, wait for a better opportunity, I guess. Iron Browse Expedition has hit a real speed bump with uh, Zatan the Black coming in and crunching into their back line. And very quickly securing two of their settlements, soon to be three hopefully, if he's got enough movement in his turn. Most of the apocalypse has hey, like no balance of power. He still wants an alliance. That's all right. We're trusted friends. Oh, I'm I'm now strength rank two. So you want a peace treaty? I don't want one of those. Are you gonna back off with your army? No, you're gonna hit that. That's all right. That's all right. All right. That's only a short-term win for them. Because where are they going to go? You know, it's oh, 
I've got like way too much power for them to really be anything against me here. Our infernal has successfully been there we go, okay, cool. Our bull centaur's got wounded by that one. Scout got wounded down there in the last four in kills. Kill us, destroy our sort of strife. Yep, okay. Good. Uh, we don't have enough movement, but we're going to head towards Doom Glade anyway. We'll get to that building up there. Over this way. All right, let's see what we can do here. Put him back into normal stance, and we'll just cruise him over. Put him next to Barag Doaz bag. And yeah, we'll just replace those two dwarf warriors that were in his army. Oh, Hurrah, Kevin. Because it's good. Barak Var will require more upgrading. Ah, oh, he didn't notice that he was in range of Astragoth. Gotta watch out getting in the range of Astrogoth. He is going to wreck you. Um, I don't think that's that gonna be a medium casualty battle. So we'll just fight it manually. Astrogoth will do what he normally does and we'll just essentially demolish it there on. there you go not too difficult I mean if we need to we could actually just send the here the um the rest of the heroes in with the with Astrogoth. I don't think we really need to but is always an option. Our gun line should be able to take care of itself. Pop out our gun line just here. Yeah. Yeah, them in front as always. These guys just behind. Back there to protect them. Astrogoth is going to go for a run. Bring these guys a bit forward. And Astrogoth is going to do his usual sprint through the center. Ooh, whew. Those hammerers got freaking walloped. Um, target those hammerers. Target. Wanderers. Chuck that down. Oh yes, that's 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 a couple of good hits there. Borrowers next. Yeah, you actually he actually missed the thunder as you're supposed to be shooting at. But I'm off. That's alright. Uh, we'll summon down some cat eye. Help us out here a bit. You we're gonna pull back. Breakers up there. 
Bye, Jaro Bummer. You fall back. Need to re aim here. You. You. Uh, right. Them. Some more damage out there. That's a bit off shooting fine there, I'd say. going perfectly well. Yeah. Let our artillery do a bit more damage to them. There we go. Some more units wiped out. There we go. That's good. Wiping them out. Okay, other unit there wiped out. That's fine. Never mind. Oh, good. That's right, they're in force march. Didn't need to do that bit of follow up, but that's right. Basically, everything just blitzed to death. <laughs> just, uh, that is the evenness of the Drake Quake mortars there. 259, 254, 254. Lovely. Yeah, the blunderbusses don't get to do a lot these days, but they're there as backup. So, should the firing from the uh, fire glades not be enough, the uh, blunderbusses can uh, add a more weight of fire. So, with the. Um, oh, what is it? The little enhancement on our range to actually slow enemies once they're being shot at, though. Um, that helps quite a lot. But yeah, so much for a close uh, close victory, medium casualties. Uh, a bit of replenishment to just to shore up the heroes and stuff a little there. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. In range as well. We're going to do this one manually as well for the same reasons as last time. It thinks we're going to take more casualties than we are. We're not going to take a lot of casualties. We are going to absolutely blast the living crap out of them. And that'll be the end of them. Because these guys are also on force march. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Astrogoth is very good at this sort of thing. If only he was still leveling. Hang. Oh, I tell you what, my computer really runs hot on this game. I am sweating buckets, and it's all because my computer is running hot. Alright, light him up here. Artillery. Prepare for barraging. You there. You three up the front. Three also up the front. And you up the front too. I think that looks pretty good. And auto select there first targets. We'll send you through. We're going to get him on the cannons, I think. Probably best option to start with. These guys are gonna go there. Like so. Oh, foof. <laughs> so, so much of that just destroyed in one hit. Go on, go on, keep going. Need you to get into those cannons, boy. 
as we are taking a bit of damage from them. Thunderers, Iron Drakes. I'll go to the, those long beards as well. Get a couple of you down here, please. Watch that. They're belt throwers. Not too concerned with belt throwers. Giant Slayers, let's move him away from them. You start shooting at them. Their forces are in bad shape. Very bad shape. We've had a couple of casualties this time. Because of cannons, because cannons have a very good range. The way they're attempting to attack us is the stupidest way that you can with um, a unit with a lot of shield by showing them the, your side. That's just ridiculously dumb. And not something you should ever, ever do. So if you're ever thinking that's a good idea, no. You've basically taken away your one advantage. There we go, that's looking pretty good. Smashed them. Oh, so we got there, so we took a little bit of damage this time. But the artillery really did their job. Again. That first volley on the on the right hand side just absolutely wiped, just about wiped out my three units. Oh, there you go. See, pretty even again. 200, 282, 282. 213. Did about 40,000 less damage or so. Sorry, no. About 3,000, 4,000 less damage. Pretty good, though. Even they did a bit of damage this time. But yeah, they really make their goal back in kills very quickly so like the um these are uh, the bull centaurs there probably still haven't made their initial purchase of gold back in kills i'd say um but they they are the they are the original unit came with astragoth i think they are anyway i don't think i lost them at any stage I can't remember. Pretty sure they are. Uh, we'll take the Punishment Let's again. Master Goth is just powering through those enemy armies there on the flank. And we'll send him that way. Baron Kvar doesn't have a very good garrison at this point, but it's okay. Um, we'll move him this way to do some scouting. Get this guy to do some scouting this way because a couple of armies fled this direction. I just want to see where exactly they are. Uh, let's take a bit of stone mine. It's a good idea, so we'll take that with him. We ask a backbreaker. One of our other legendary lords. Occupied as I felt like the outpost, right? I want to do that as an outpost. Yes, it yes, was. Excellent. So that, accept labour. And we'll put in that building. Drazoth will move up with him and go into ambush stance with him. See if we can lure these two back. And again, it's in range. No, 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 no. Just made our first hit over here, so we'll play it slightly cautiously. Over here, though. See if we can lure him still into attack Karatman. Putting him in ambush stance. Meanwhile, he's going to go around this side and take Misty Mountain.
pretty good. Uh, you have that. Thumbs on. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's that aside, and we'll occupy this as an outpost as well. I think that's what I wanted it as. Probably not. That's okay. That will be fine. We'll have that building, we'll have a control building, and we'll start leveling that one and that one. Do that. And we'll give you more control. Lamia, he hasn't been able to make that. That's alright. Made some good progress in the last turn or two. Now there is actually that army here. Slayers will definitely be a problem if I have to fight. Them. Hopefully we won't have to fight that army. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to keep him on the border here because the army down here still needs more in it. Um, but you know what? I don't really think I need more range than that, to be honest. What I might do, let's have a look. More turns. More one turn. They, they tend to get annihilated really badly. Actually, just get four of them. Because they fighting the scheme, we're going to have to deal with quite a few uh, uh, the coming from the un underground groups of Skaven. I know what I'm talking about, and that's the main thing. Um, so, having plenty of s stuff that can help out the artillery with that would be good. Because the artillery will probably be the main target. Um, the Lord, the Lord. Spoilers. Let's give you ambush defense chance. Through his other heroes and whatnot. Uh, indomitable, I guess. A level there, a level here. All of that there. Uh, like you cause terror. Uh, like you cause terror as well. can also be indomitable. Indomitable. Oh. Full armor plate. A few others in here need stuff. Yeah. Full armor plate. Full armor plate. What do you get though? Attack that. Let's give you a short scales. Uh, yeah, we're definitely moving into the last of the dwarven stuff. They're really running out now. Especially now that we've pushed in here. Okay, damn light. More on the side. Uh, I don't think he's mattered too much comparatively. Uh, you've, got that, you've got that, you've got that. More speed for that one. Uh, and for you. And for you. Dalet Castellan! Yeah, I'm uh, provoking them a bit, but that's all right. Vitesh Vadratia! I am warlord, speak. I'm dropping that pretty, uh, pretty nicely at the moment. 
they're allied with them. They're at war with nobody, so I kind of need them to declare war on me. Commandment, nice. Oh, convoy, that's right, because one of my convoys got wrecked. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, sure, go get me some slaves. Uh, Great Hall of Greases. Send this one over to the Volary for almost nothing. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. I betcha. Again, as usual, yeah, lots of well, lots of that'll need to be spent as well. So we'll do that in one place. Rocket Fang Fort. Oh, yeah, you shouldn't be getting eight peaks. Oh, yeah, only a couple. All right, let's see. Eba. Oh, no, just the two. Uh, yep. Looking all right. Beautiful. But that is where we're going to leave this episode. So we're pushing ahead nicely down here. We basically got him in a trap. We do still have quite a few of these armies milling about down here as well, but they shouldn't be too big a problem. Trying to trap no these ones this. as well. And yes. Oh, let's pick off traps and stuff. How are we doing? So we still rank just below them, so that's unfortunate. Oh well. And what is our currently current state of victory? So we've achieved that. Alright. Uh, so yeah, once we take out Karaza Karak, that will achieve the uh, long campaign victory. Uh, domination, we're about halfway there. Ultimate, we're a fair way off yet. But I think I don't really want to go as far as long campaign at the most. But we'll see. See how I'm feeling once we uh, annihilate the dwarves. But anyway, that's going to be it for me for now. I've been Asher Ninja. This has been Astrogoth, and I'll see you in the next one. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you later.